Alright, so if you'll remember, in our last video, we had an error. Where, well first I'll just show you. Alright, so we hit space, shoot a bullet, and the program freezes. And we look at the code, and it's because we have an error at Space Invaders line 80. So, no, that's not, yeah, test for collision bullets, also Space Invaders, line, let's see, what was that, uh, 87, so 87's right here, bad guy I get J hit by bullets, what I did to figure out what the error was, is I put a simple system.printlin, and I printed out the I and the J value, and if you can track those, you can figure out where you're off by one error is. Or array index out of bounds exception, which is an off by one error. Um, yeah. So I saw that when I was zero, you end up with zero and then whatever number. And then when you subtract one here, you get an error. So what you have to do to fix this is to put in a break statement. Now when you have two for loops like this, I, I always forget where the break statement takes you, but you can put a label in and you can do uh, bad guy or BG and then colon. And what you can do is you can just say and break BG. And it takes you out of this loop. And that's nice. So I'm just going to take this out, save it, and compile. And compile successfully, and we'll run it. Nope. Okay. Yeah, and that works great. A little too easy to kill him, though. Hmm. Oh well. Let me close that. I think I'm gonna put down the shot frequency because that he can just shoot too fast. I'll see one bullet per second. It's a lot slower. And that'll make it a lot more difficult. Let's see. Test space invaders and run it. And there we go. Got our game going. That's one, that's one, two. Oh, that's not right. He can still shoot as fast as he wants. Let me check to see that. See, a lot of programming is just solving <laughs> your own problems where you messed up. Um, player shoot if DT is greater than hmm. That's much too high. Oh, this is why. When I do player, uh, yeah, shoot. I also have to update time. So last shot equals system dot nano time. Mhm. Mm I can just remove these. No, not. Not that one. I can remove this. Continue evaluation. 
one of these days I'm going to get around to buying this program. Nope. Ah, open the wrong one. Run it. No. All right. That's a lot harder. You gotta get one every time too for it to work. Okay. Well, hmm. So that works. We'll close this. Ah. Now let's add a. Hmm. Let's get the bad guys to shoot too. We're gonna have to put that in our update method. So it's gonna need reference to the vector of bullets. Um yeah, we're gonna need to import vector so that we can use it in this class. Import java.util.star. You know I can just say java.util.vector. Because really I only need vector. I don't need anything else in on java.util. Um okay. So how about Hmm. It's gonna need a bullet frequency too, but I think as this time goes on the bullet frequency is gonna increase. So hmm. um public static final double initial bullet frequency equals Input initial bullet yeah, frequency. Hmm. How am I going to do this? All right, I'm going to do point. one per update. Uh, so bullets per update. And every update is going to be about 50 milliseconds. So we could calculate how frequent the bullets are. We'll do if initial bullet frequency no private double bullet frequency and then public static final double uh, frequency increase frequency increase equals 1.02 you kinda just have to guess on these values but you gotta know what you're doing with them so we're gonna set up our bullet frequency to be our initial bullet frequency and to put some randomness in here we're gonna do if math.random is less than initial bullet frequency and so really what this saying is every 10% of the time when it updates it's going to shoot a bullet and then we're going to use the frequency increase to update the bullet frequency. No. Bullets. Add new bullets. What do we need for bullet? Uh, X 
and y. Get x and get y. Alright. And bullet frequency times equals frequency increase. Now the reason we add uh, frequency increase and initial bullet velocity as variables is so that we can just come up here and change these values at any time. It makes it real nice. So we're just going to compile this. Ooh, we get an error. Uh, let's see. Why did I use get it? Okay, this needs to be x, and this needs to be y. And they're going to need to be ints. So we need to cast them. Int. Okay. Uh, we're just about out of time here. So, I can already tell you we're going to get an error. Uh, oh, they're going to be going down. So, false. <laughs> the error we're going to get is... Get i dot update dt ah, bullets. Okay, the error we're gonna get. It's not really an error, but um, yeah. Look, they shoot themselves. The bullets hit themselves, so that's not good. And that was a little too fast too. I'm gonna tweak that number, and I'll come back to you guys in the next video. All right, I'll see you later.